Okay, so <clears throat> I'm back again. Going over more conspiracies and cases of the Doctor and the blue box and the strange goings on in this odd universe that we're in. So, I want to talk now about other things of the Doctor. See, earlier on in the series I mentioned that there were people that go missing, but there are those that return. Return as different, well, not different people literally, but have a whole new aspect on the whole universe and how they see things differently. I'm talking about the returned. Yes. People that go missing but return and they believed to have trouble with this doctor. People say that this doctor has companions or a companion that is death. But I don't think that's necessarily 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 true. See, I think there are those that have returned but don't say much about it because they value the Doctor and they want to keep him safe. As I said, there's there's institutions out there. There's Torchwood and units which handle alien threats and, of course, we've already established that the Doctor is an alien. So anyway, those who have returned... As I said, in 1963, there was the student, Susan Foreman, that was an odd girl, but she never was seen again after the November of 1963. But two of her teachers, Ian Chesterton and Barbara Wright, both went missing in 1963 and then reappeared in 1965. They never really explained what they saw or what they went through, but they returned and throughout their life they fell in love and got married and even wrote a book called Adventures in Space and Time, which have been adapted into these movies, uh, starring Peter Cushing, Doctor Who and the Daleks and the Dalek Invasion of Earth. 2150 AD, all to do with these Daleks and Doctor Who. Of course, it's based on their book that they wrote. Whether it's true or not, no one knows, but I believe that it is true and it is real. Then, of course, there's others. There's a young, there was a young girl named Dodo who went missing in 1965 last seen at a nightclub with a mysterious old man whose identity is unknown. But there were others, there was you know, a guy called Ben and stuff, and other people going missing and stuff, as I've said already. Then there was, of course, in the 70s, Josephine or Joe Grant. I mean, now she's married and she's called Joe Jones. She went on various hiatuses throughout her time at UNIT with the mysterious man believed to be the Doctor. And then there was, you know, in 1973 she went, she stayed and uh, fell in love with uh, this guy, Dr. Jones, you know, who made like products out of fungi. After this, the late journalist Sarah Jane Smith, who was just writing some article or something at UNIT, went, well, missing, but always came and went. She was never always gone, and again, the same man seen with Joe, she'd seen with him. But then another man, the same man that believed to be from Paris, 1979, with that other woman, he's there with her. Of course, there were others. There was Dr. Harry Sullivan, who 
went, who didn't come into work at units for a while, but then there was Sarah Jean Smith, of course, and in 1976, she randomly ended up in Aberdeen, Scotland, and made her way back to London. And of course, she has had many odd cases go around her. I mean, I'll have to discuss this in another video who Sarah Jean Smith is, but there were many other people. Like, again, this man, the doctor, seemed of a savage woman that looks like a savage. She didn't like that photo taken. Then, as I said already, there was Tegan Chavanka that went missing in 1981. In 1984, she returned. But where was she? Hmm. Then there was Perry Brown, who disappeared and was never seen again in 1984. Then there was Mel Bush, who went missing in the mid-80s, but then returned in the late 80s, with a different look on life. And then there was Dorothy, she prefers to be called Ace, who also went missing in the mid-80s, and then... She returned back on Earth in London in the 1990s. Then, of course, there was Rose Tyler, who went missing and then returned and then is assumed dead in the mid-2000s. But there's others. There's Martha Jones, who worked at that hospital that was apparently taken to the moon by witnesses on that hos in that hospital. And then, of course, there's Donna Noble. On Christmas Eve in the mid-2000s, on her wedding day, she just mysteriously vanished. A photo was caught before it happened, and she was glowing, and then reappeared at her wedding reception. The same time as that big space star came down and Mr. Saxon ordered it to be destroyed and then there was again she ended up missing well I wouldn't say missing in 2009 and then returned she even went on like this morning and had a very strange goings on with her fainted at one point I don't know what's going on, but in 2023, she believed to have been seen with this man that looks a lot like the doctor, slightly older. And then, of course, there were others as well, like Amelia Pond and her husband, Rory, disappeared and never seen again. Then there was Clara Oswald again, disappeared. Bill Potts all went missing, never returned. But then there was, in Sheffield, a policewoman, Yasmin Khan, who was good at her job, but one day just stopped attending work, sort of, was distracted, staying she travelled with a mate. Hmm. A mate. Looks an awful lot like a woman with a blue box. There were others as well, Graham O'Brien and his wife, Sir Granson, um, Ryan St. Clair. Every now and then they went disappearing and then they came back. And then there was Dan Lewis in Liverpool. During a strange event around Halloween time when there was weird stuff going on with these St. Harans and stuff. But then he came back in 2022. I don't know, but those who have encountered the Doctor and have returned have all made some sort of group, some meet and greets, like a support group, but they talk with one another. The oldest member, of course, is Ian Chesterton, who is still alive to this day. Very old, but... What do they talk about, the return? Do they exchange 
adventures and encounters they had with the Doctor. Did the Doctor kidnap them and make them see life differently or something? No, I think they travelled with the Doctor, even though the Doctor can never guarantee their safety because he's, well, or they or she. It's strange, but what do the returned talk about? Who knows? Who knows? I think I'll leave this one here. I've talked enough today. I'll see you around.